Nao? 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 Je peux faire quelque chose pour toi? Parle anglais. Vangélie, soyez attentif. Uh, I think he decide to, to dance for you. Oh. <laughs> And not to switch in English. <laughs> Meet now, an autonomous programmable humanoid robot capable of emulating human behavior and expressing emotions. Hello, my name is Now. I'm a humanoid robot imagined and manufactured by Audi Baron Robotics. I come with a software and I'm fully programmable. I'm autonomous and I can connect to the internet through Wi-Fi. I can recognize your face, answer your questions, play music, grab objects, and even play soccer like a pro. It's almost two foot tall, now acts, moves and interacts like a mini human. What you do, I prefer to say who he is, because he's not a functional robot, he's kind of emotional robot. We would like him to be a companion at home in the near future, to be like new pet, new kind of pet for you at home, for your family, and be, um, I know, be sympathetic with you, be nice, uh, make you laugh, something like that. <laughs> Currently, for the moment, this robot is uh, used in education for academics purpose, uh, for higher education, secondary education, and now even primary education. He can do everything, it's just a matter of imagination because you have to program it. Now he uses four microphones to track sounds and his voice recognition and text-to-speech capabilities allow him to communicate in eight languages. He also has two cameras and can track, learn and recognize images and faces. There is a lot of noise here, so he gets more and more, you know, he's breathing more and more rapidly and he's like quite excited because, you know, he heard a lot of sounds coming from everywhere, so it's becoming like little stress. And you can see with his body language. And if you touch, if you touch him on his taxi sensor, he can detect it and detect you are touching him, you know. It's what we call his autonomous life. We want him to be all the time alive and not a Muppet. And so he's breathing, he has his own behavior, he has his own life. Now has been in development since 2005 and is constantly evolving. Developers believe he represents the future. It's like computer in the 17th. We are at the same level of um, development. I mean, in the 17th, we create computer. We didn't know exactly why and what they will do. But now we are all using computer, and you, 30, uh, I mean 20 or 30 years ago, that we, we, we had kind of pioneer people who create and invent the usage for computer. I think it's now the same with robotics and with humanoid robot. Right now we, we have a, a community of three, uh, 300 people developing apps, developing content, creating dialogue for the robot because they want to imagine the future of humanoid robots and imagine what he can do at home. Now has already made quite a name for himself. From 2008, he competed in the RoboCup Standard Platform League, an international robot football competition. He also made headlines doing a synchronized dance routine at the Shanghai World Expo in 2010. However, developers believe the key to his popularity and human acceptance is his very own simulated humanity. We think that the humanoid shape is very important for acceptation because we used to interact with humanoid shape. You, me, everyone, from the beginning of humanity, it's, this, it's the ultimate interface, the human interface. We think that thanks to his humanoid form and shape, we have a positive effect for him. We have a positive emotion for him that allows us to accept him uh, at home or in, in our life. With his acutely lifelike movements and mannerisms, it raises the question how far are robots from developing their own thought process and eventually acting on that thought process? There is a lot of science fiction movie who give us a lot of idea, who we have in the imagination a lot of stuff like that, that humanoids will uh, you know, control everything, control humanity. I think we are very far, far away about that. And at Aldebaran, we have 
the strong uh, vision that humanoid robots should be kind, kind robots, you know, should be here to help people, should be here to help humankind. A hefty price tag of about $10,000 is however the one thing standing in the way of a robot like now being part of every household in the near future. But as technology develops, the price tag is expected to lower and now will be ready for the consumer market. Jenny Hammond, The New Economy, Lyon. I guess that's enough for the moment. Thank you for listening to me.